Hello everyone. Welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today's video will be on a classic Sudoku created by Richard Stock, one of the most uh, excellent authors out there. And this Sudoku was created by Richard for the just uh, concluded Dutch Sudoku qualification uh, competition. I gave the contest and the Sudokus were all really excellent i gave both the sudoku and the puzzle contest this time around i usually used to give only the sudoku contest but i just managed to find some time for giving the puzzles as well they were exceptional in quality i really enjoyed the contest so and today's video is on one such sudoku from the contest this was uh, the highest uh, weighed sudoku in the sudoku qualification contest weighed at 102 points uh, a tough classic sudoku so let's see uh, i'll be able to uh, solve this i've already solved it during the contest so i should be able to solve it so let's uh, start the sudoku now the rules are normal classic sudoku rules so each row each column and three by three box in the grid has digits one to nine without any repetition and you can see that uh, really the givens are uh, in the shape of a you can say a triangle in each box so really excellent design so with that we'll start the sudoku uh, okay there are a lot of ones in the grid let's see if they are giving us some information okay actually ones are not giving us much information let's go to twos so i'm able to place my first digit there so that gives a 2 here and which places 2 in one of these two cells and 2 in row 6 has only one cell left so 2 goes here and that puts 2 in one of these two cells okay so 2's are done let's move on to 3's 3 must go in one of these two cells there are only 2 given 3's in the grid so I don't think you, we can do much with that. Okay, ones are getting now some action. One must be in one of these two cells. So I remember uh, doing something in between the solve which wasn't, uh, which you would normally see in a classic Sudoku and that really completed the Sudoku fast. So four in row one goes here. And which means uh, 3 and 7 are the remaining digits in row 1. So 7 goes here and 3 goes here. And now 7s in column 5 must be in these two cells. So I have a 2 7 pair locked inside uh, row 7 C5 and row 9 column 5. So 1 is eliminated there. So 1 must be in one of these two cells. Okay, so this is a 2 7 pair. So let's remove these off. And focusing on column 5 again, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 7. So 1, 4, 8 and 9. You have a 9 here. So 9 must be in one of these two cells in column 5. And what else? So we can place the 9 now in box 8. So 9 goes here. 9 can't be here and 9 cannot be here. So 9 in row 7 goes here. And 9 in column 2 goes here. This all follows from normal Sudoku rules. Sudoku techniques, I should say. 9 is not here, 9 is not here. So 9 goes in one of these two cells. And the final 9 of the grid must be in one of these two cells. Okay. And uh, coming back to column 5. So where does the 4 in this column go? 4 must be in these two cells. Okay, now let's maybe look at the 8s. 8 is not here, 8 is not here. So 8 must be in these two cells. And 8 in box 1 must be in these two cells. And 8 in column 7 must be in these two cells. Okay, so I think it's time to slightly shift towards center marking uh, it's getting slightly harder to see the hidden single digits so let's start with column 4 i have 6 digits in there 3 5 
1, 6, 8. This is going to be 6, 8. This is going to be 1, 8. This is going to be 1 and 6 because of this 8. And 1, 7, 8. This is going to be 1 and 6 because of this 8. And box 8 is almost completed. So 3, 5, 9, 2, 7, 8. So 1, 4, 6. So this will be 4, 6. And this will be 1, 4, 6. And uh, if you look at box 1 and these 3 cells, uh, 2, 5, 8, 1, 4, 9. So these would be 3, 6, 7. And even column 8 is appearing interesting. 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. So 3, 5, 6 and 7, right? So these two cells can't take 6. So 3, 5, 7 and 3 and 7. And coming back here, this is a 5, 6, 7. And this is a 3, 6, 7 because of this 5 here. Okay, am I missing something simple? Let me see. Ah, fives in column six. We haven't looked at fives at all. Goes here. And let me quickly check the fives now. Five is not here. Five is not here. So five is in these three cells. Five is in these two cells in call, uh, box nine. And five is in these two cells in box six. Can't be here. Right. Uh, now looking at this box now, 3, 4, 6, 2, 5, 7, 1, 8 and 9. This would be 8, 9 and this would be a 1, 8 and 9. All right. Mm, if I'm looking at column 9, I have 1, 2, 6 and 8. And in box 9, I also have two additional givens 4 and 9. So these two cells can only take 3, 5, 7. This is a 3, 7. This is a 5, 7. And <clears throat> uh, look at column 2 here. 8 must be in these two cells. Which means these two cells can't be 2, 4, 5, 8, 1 and 3. So 6, 7, 9. This is 7, 9. And this is a 6, 7 and a 9. All right. This is 6, 7, 8. And this is also 6, 7, 8 because 9 cannot be in either of these cells. So 6, 7, 8. And I'm looking at row 7 now. 1, 5, 9, 4 and 8. So 2, 3, 6, 7. 2, uh, 2 and 3 is in here. So this will be 6, 7. Uh, okay. All right. So now we have got a beautiful triplet in column 1. 3, 6, 7. Which means these would be taking a 3, a pointing pair in there. So these would be 4 and 5. Excellent. And I'm looking at row 9 now to see if this 4, 5 is combining with something else. Okay, look at this cell. 2, 5, 7, 9, 8, 6, 3. 2, 5, 7, 9, 3, 6, 8. So this is 1 or 4. And this is 4 or 8, right? Okay, now this is becoming very interesting. <clears throat> I'm trying to recollect what I did during the solve. It all went in a fuzzy because what happened uh, at the start of the contest, my printer started making some issues. For the first three minutes, it wasn't printing at all and I, it was becoming slightly panicky. And I started the contest around 55 or 56 minutes. And uh, that after that, it was kind of a mad rush. So things still remain a bit blurry. But let's see. If I solve once, I should definitely be able to solve again. Uh, 1, 2, 5, 8, 
4 and 6. So this remains, uh, this should be 379. All right. And look at this cell. Uh, 1, 2, 6, 8, 7 and 9. So these would be 3, 4 and 5. Ah, that's very interesting. I have 5 in one of these two cells in column 1 and 5 in one of these two cells in column 9. Excellent. So this is clearly a case of X-Wing, right? So an X-Wing is nothing but you uh, encompass a digit uh, possibility into two rows and exactly two same two columns. So the two rows are row 5 and row 9 here and the columns are column 1 and column 9. For example, you if the 5 is supposed, let's say, in one of these two cells and in one of these two cells, then this cannot be called as an X-Wing. It would be something else. It should be the same two rows. It should basically be in the shape of a rectangle or a square, right? Doesn't matter. So phi can be eliminated from all the other cells in those uh, rows. So basically phi cannot be in any of these cells. But if you see closely, the only two eliminations we can make for the phi's are these two cells, right? Phi is already eliminated here because of this. And rest of the cells don't have phi, so only phi can be eliminated from here and this cell. So this will be 3, 4, 6, 2, 2, 7, 8, 9, 1 and 5, 3, 4, 6. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Okay, I've got a 3 here, right? So this must be a 6, 7, 8. Let's see. I should also eliminate 5 from this cell. So this will be 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's too many pencil marks. Okay, 3 in column 6 must be in one of these two cells, right? And writing uh, center candidates in column 6. This cell right here cannot be 2, 5, 7, 1, 8, and 9. So this, uh, 1, 8, and 9. So this would be 3, 4, 6, 1, 3, 4, right. Okay. So now, uh, the sixth in box 5, if you look closely, after writing this pencil mark, it's becoming apparent. 6 must be in one of these two cells, right, in box 5. So this is not a 6. Excellent. Now I have a 7, 9 pair. Superb. So that eliminates 7 from both of these cells. So I get a 6-8 pair now. Basically the remaining 2 digits. So now uh, the remaining digits in box 4. 1, 2, 8, 7, 9. So 3, 4, 5, 6. I have a 5, 6 in here. So this would be 3, 4. And basically... 3 and 6 are in these 3 cells, so 6 is also not here, so 7, 8. 3, 7, 8, 9, so what next? 3 and 6, right? So 4, 5, 7, 8 should go here. 6 must be here. All right. Ah, this can't take a 5, right, from the X-Wing. So now we can make use of that. 1, 2, 3, 9. Uh, 3 and 6 are in here. Let me put that in. 4, 7, 8. All right. There's something which I'm missing here. I think I used some form of uniqueness maybe at this point. Two, seven pair is in here and there is also two in here. So I somehow eliminated seven, I think. Okay, that might have made my solve a little bit easier. But anyway, no issues. We'll try to solve it logically. In row five, there's only one cell left for the six. Six is not here, six is not here. So six is in here. So this must be a 3, 4, 5 now. Excellent. And this is 1, 3 and 4. Uh, 
I have 6, 7 here, 6, 8 here. And if this is a 7, 8, that would have been an XY wing and would have been awesome. 6, 8, 7, 8. And there is no 6, 7. 6, 7 is in here, but it's just not related. Uh, right. So 6, 8 pair. Awesome, guys. There is one more X-Wing. Excellent. But this I didn't spot during the contest, but I solved it in a different way. But now we have a beautiful second X-Wing of the grid. There is six in columns two and uh, column eight, and it is also in the same two rows, rows three and row uh, eight in the shape of a perfect square or rectangle. So six is eliminated from all these remaining cells in those columns so let's just highlight them in because of this x-wing six cannot be in the yellow cells and you can see there is a clear digit in here so this is a four and any other cell which can remove the six so this is not six the so three seven that's not four one six this cannot be six five seven eight this cannot be six 5, 7, 8 and 5 is also not possible. That's a 7, 8. And here, um, these two cells can't take 6. 3, 4, 7, 9, 3, 4, 7, 9. Right, I'm not going to write those in. Let's remove all these yellows. Maybe at a later point, I'll use that. Okay, 6. Let's, let's remove these X wings. 4. 4 is removed from these cells. Okay, excellent. One sixth pair. And this cell right here cannot be 1, 3, 6, 9, 4 or 5. So it is 2, 7, 8. Okay. Is that any other X wing in here? Um, okay. Look at a row five, and where does the three go? Three must be in one of these two cells, right? for row 5 which means this is a 7 awesome right so after i complete this sudoku which is going to be in about 2 3 minutes from now i'll reveal you something which will uh, really be fascinating i'm not sure if that would uh, oops just a second yeah but you won't believe that probably but it's true uh, row 5 3 must be in one of these two cells which means this is 7 so probably this is going to give a lot of digits and that 7 gives a 9 here a 7 here and 3 7 so that's a 5 which means this has to be a 6 and that completes column 8 3 that gives a 7 here which puts the 3 in here which puts 8 and 6 in here and that puts 8 in here 8 is not here Okay, and 6 goes here in column 1. Well, so 5 is ruled out from this cell. So which means 3, 4. So that is a 5. That is a 4. That is 7. 5. This would be 7. This would be 5. This would be 3. 3, 5 gives 4. Which puts the 3 in the column. 3 in the row. That gives 1. That gives 3. Gives 6. 8. 4 and 1 gives a 1 here and this 4 3 pair is resolved this 1 9 is resolved 4 6 7 9 1 3 5 so 2 8 8 and 2 7 2 6 1 1 3 5 9 2 7 8 so 4 and 6 so this is 4 this is 6 and that is 7 that is 9 1 2 4 5 3 6 7 so this is 9 and this is 8 and with that we have completed the sudoku so what i was about to reveal is will you believe me if i tell you that of all the sudokus in the contest this was the one i solved the fastest 
uh, it took me around four four and a half minutes to complete this sudoku i was actually surprised so so much to the point that do, uh, after making this video right now i'm going to go and check my solution because the solve in no way resembled what i did now finding these two x wings uh, it was actually something uh, involving somewhere here i noticed something cannot be a seven here because that would force uh, a uh, that would no not have enough space for a seven in column one and that really completed the sudoku for me i'm not sure if i assume something wrong i hope it's right because it's 102 points so i'm going to go and check the sudoku um partly maybe because i was solving in a very uh really uh, you know heckless uh, manner because i said at the start that my printer uh, got stuck for three minutes and in a one hour contest three minutes is really really vital so i'll probably go and check the solution now uh, but let's hope the solution is right hope you enjoyed watching this video this was an amazing classic sudoku and an amazing contest please do leave a like and a comment under the video We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.